Hello, in-ear fetishists. I don't know what your name is yet. There's not enough of you. When we hit 10,000, I'll name you. Um, I'm listening to something awful. You know what's an awful name? A full, even if you say a full, it's still awful. These are the awful performer fives, and we're in a unique situation because these haven't been released yet. Um, Hi Fi goes to me and like, hey, we're gonna send you these, and um, they're a new innovative IM that uses a full PCB board. In fact, I have a picture since I fixed my watch, since I fixed my shitty watch band, which I made myself. I sewed this. There you go. Yeah, look, look, there's a full, full PCB board. In the IM, like I've never done that before. It's always been little things, but that's like a full, it's a 4BA single dynamic. And they're all wired to this crossover with one, two, three, four, five, six, at least seven components on this side of the board. So that's like, this is new. This is actual technology. And according to what I can read, because the website's not fully updated, it says RLC, don't know what that is. It says 3D, don't know what that is. And it says resonators, with the word resin capitalized, which means it's like the resin that the IMs are made out of. They're very pretty. They look like her hair. I didn't realize her hair in this match. Those are those are like Kanira Nana nice looking. And they're small. Like they're, For having a giant, well, the entire thing being, this is not a huge IM. It's not even thick. It says performers, but it's actually a five. So it's performer five. And they're two wire. And I changed them out to the Chimera cable, Chimera cable, um, just because I wanted to try some balance stuff. Because I think, therefore I am. No, I, I know that these behave very different on different amplifiers. I hadn't been using the Wallop and Topaz because it only came with a 3.5. And I'm like, I could use an adapter, but I really want to use balance. So I whipped out the Chimera cable, which is linked in the description. It's the cable that I did with Lecture. Here it is. With interchangeable heads, you can put any head you want on it. You make a 3.5 or 2.5. Okay, point is, I didn't like it in the Wallop and Topaz. I like everything in the Wallop and Topaz. I could put a dick destroyer and plug it into the wall of and toe pass, and I'd be like, man, this sounds great as it's destroying my dick. Like, everything is just warm and smooth with this amp, except the awfuls. <laughs> how, how does it perform? It's an awful performer. Oh, God, they, please, someone put this shit across my desk before it goes to print. Uh, pay me. $20,000 a month, I'll look at the names of everything you're making, and I'll correct them if they say, awful. Um, so here, um, we should probably get to how it sounds. So, I'm telling you, it sounds different on every amplifier I plugged it into. I've got the LA90, which is a fucking $900 speaker amp, and if I plug it into that, I like it. I really do like it. But if I put an adapter on it or take the 3 and plug it into the JDS Labs um, Element amp, it's like, eh? It, it, here, I'll, I'll put it back in here. It's just, it, we'll do this. I'm putting it back in my head. Because the cable, here's the cable it came with. Really fucking nice cable. Like, I love the, the silver and, and like, uh, carbon gray. It's a nice connector. It says awful on it. So you don't forget that it's awful. <coughs> really thick. Really thick. I like, the, I like the cable. But it's only a 3.5. And I don't know the price of this either. Because uh, everyone in China is asleep, so I message Hi-Fi Go, and they're like, Z, Z, Z. So the only price indicator I have on their website was when I searched for it, it popped up as $999, $1,000. And I know it's not that, because before they release an IM, what they do is they put a superly high price so no one buys it. Because when my Z12s were on sale, or not on sale, and the SA6s were not on sale, they put fake prices. And funny little story, the SA6, they put for 1000 Meanwhile, the SA6 Ultra is a $600 IM, so a thousand isn't too far away. So I'm like, can you please make that ten thousand? Because I don't want people buying it for a thousand, thinking that I made it a thousand dollar IM. So this says a thousand, and it doesn't say. It says 3D air pressure balance technology, RLC network frequency division technology, and and Vision TEC medical grade production 3D printer, pressure relief technology, and easy and comfortable to wear. I will say, not knowing the price of these, I'm gonna have to take a guess at the end of the video. 
The size and shape is, is they're perfect. They they are like the ideal. I want to use an IM, and this is the size and shape that I want it to be. Let's see if I can pull that off there. So I'm gonna put this back in my ear. I'm gonna plug this back into the element. Let's see which side we got. They're very fucking pretty. They're super pretty. Dakoni tips on there because because the only thing that gives me an indication of how much these things should cost. Yeah, is this thing. This thing comes with every cheap IM, up to and including $300. So I'm thinking the Awfuls, right off the bat, just from what it comes with, is maybe $225 to $250. Um, just for that new, you got a 4, 4 BA single dynamic, you're talking about FIO FA7 money, that's like a $400 one, and they're all claiming, all the, all the words are like, oh, it's cheaper than all the com competition at this design. So if this is like under 300 in the 250 range, that's where I'm guessing. Um, another interesting thing it comes with, you know, I'm I'm going to talk about that in a second. Another thing that happens is you like you look at these tips and it's like red and blue, but they're the same size. So you literally get to put the red. The indicator for right and left is that the tip has in the front. You could see the color. So you could put a red on the right and a blue on the left. That's that's such a Zeos move right there. Dakoni, make your tips different colors so I could use that system. Uh, so here's what's happening with the um, with the Awfuls and this amp. If I play it quiet, it sounds one way. And then I put it up, and it starts getting to like the volume I want to listen to. And then I go past that, and it gets very bright in certain areas. And this is the problem with putting a crossover that complicated in an IM. Or it's not a problem. There's a, there's a benefit, obviously. You're literally controlling all these drivers and giving them specific frequencies to play with. Great. That's fucking great. We It's about time. Because I know they make little circuit boards, like one or two things on it. But putting a full PCB in an IM apparently is new. The problem comes that with speakers, like full-size speakers, like the Bucarts have a giant crossover network that's like that big. And there's like 37 components on it. Is they draw a little more power. Now, these aren't like impossibly hard to drive, but what I think is happening is those crossover components are reacting at different power levels. Ooh, Junkie XL from the Animatrix. Beauty never fades. There's a low end that... I'm just nodding my head and going, jeebus. When that low end rolls in through a very, very meticulously honed dynamic crossover, you're there. It's actually pretty good. The, the low end rumble, like it gets there when you're getting up and, oh my lord, what was that? That's in the song. Apparently, Beauty Never Fades has like these wild, like, I can't play the speakers because they're disconnected. Let me see. Move this over to here. Yeah, it sounds like the sound shape changes and gets bigger as you get louder. But on some amps, when you do that, it gets bigger and brighter. And I don't want it to be brighter because I don't like when trouble hurts me. So the amplifier that hasn't done that has been the own Exonus GT in balanced mode. For some reason, this amplifier in particular is like, when you turn the volume up, it's the same sound the whole way through. I think Owens have higher output impedance. That's one of the complaints people have. They have, oh, they have higher output impedance. But I think it's working in its favor right now. Because it's the most consistently great sounding. You know, I'm getting like these, these wild, like... Usually with a five, that's what we just call the Performer 5, is this five things. Dynamic driver and four BAs. Blending them together is very difficult to do. And a lot of times it's just throw two in there that do mid-range or two that do highs to the base and then put like maybe one little resistor in the way to try to prevent it. This is being controlled fully. And the thing is, it's not like become one harmoni harmo harmonious sound. I can tell there's different drivers, but they all sound like they're doing a specific purpose. Like what is this song doing right now? There's this, this shit just popping off in like various places behind my head. 
And it could just be the song and it'll sound the same on every I Am. But the delivery of said noises is something I hadn't heard I haven't heard in an I Am before. It's unique. I'm glad that they did something that's different. That's I'm glad they did something that's like, what the fuck are you doing? You wiring this in there? Seriously? And it's actually providing some difference. If I did that and nothing changed and I couldn't tell, then that's one thing. But if you gave me these blind and said, what does this sound, why do these sound different? It would be something to do with like, like a, that'd be kind of a fun game. You don't know what's in your ear. Is it dynamic? Is it a full planar? Is it seven armatures? You know, there's like sounds that are like, th the first thing I thought of was my original Mad Dogs. And I've described this a couple times in other videos where you put those headphones on and the thing that made them amazing wasn't the imaging in the middle. It was the fact that from your ear to about six inches away from your ear, sounds could appear in a three-dimensional space like this. And that's what these do. And I don't know what that is or how you do that, but these do that. These are these are doing that. And on some songs like this Junkie, X Junkie XL, like there's just, it sounds normal and then a sound comes and it zips fucking up and past you. And I'm like, what? I hope these aren't expensive. I hope they aren't 500. 500 with the accessories you get and the sort of like pickiness of the amps, I, I don't know if I could give them a full reco at five. But under three? Ooh, yeah, no, if these are under three, they're, they're a buy. I'm hoping. And of course, if they're under three, that means you have more money to um, buy a Chimera cable because everyone needs a Chimera cable. Um, you know, that's that's the joy of this. The, the bass comes in and is clean and then stops right where it's supposed to stop. And whatever the mid-range Knowles can take over, or, or I actually don't know the, the brand of the thing because it's not on the site. What do we got? Tube, bass tube, mid bass tube, treble filter, bass filter, fish mouth type nozzle, air pressure balance system. So they 3D printed the entire shell, which is pretty fucking interesting. This has got a lot of tech in it. The RLC 3D frequency division technology. If you're a patron, watch this, by the way, because patron gets to see these video early. They're considering releasing this on Black Friday. So I'll be the first review out if I release this around or right before Black Friday. So check it out. Standard frequency division, RLC 3D. Yeah, no, they're doing some shit, man. Look, robots are even listening to them. That's wild. And they're fucking gorgeous. They are gorgeous. I'm, I'm hoping and praying they're like $270. Because this is a worthwhile listen. If you're an IEM collector and you want different and new things... This is a different and new thing. I'm just awkwardly saying things because I don't know the price. Wow, Westworld, Violent Delights is just... You know, as I turn it up past the point of comfort, I hear the sound just slowly, just slowly changing shape to favor the mid-range a little bit more. I hope that they make more of these. I hope this awful company make some more of these please for the love of god why did you call it that no one no one who speaks english is going to take this awful thing seriously uh just just rest my head in my hands i they also they say awful there but it's hidden because it's gold lettering on that beautiful red they say awful on both sides and you can't read it thank god Whew. they they dodge a bullet you know i'm i'm gonna give these a recommendation if you have other IEMs and you want to try something different and they're under $300, $300 is my cutoff point. If they're $320, maybe, maybe. But then as soon as you get to like the Mangrid T2 sort of levels, it's like, all right, you just get those instead. But this is this is interesting and comfortable. And the wire is nice and the, case, the, the accessories are bleh except for the cool color. I just dropped something awful. I dropped something awful. Yeah, no, all right, wallpaper in the horde. Um, 
Thank you to Hyphego for trusting me to have these without telling me the price. I'm sure they'll tell me the price tomorrow, but I'm not filming reviews tomorrow. Tomorrow is my watch these reviews and do so. It's, it's a whole fucking scheduling thing. Um, links to all the amps, wallpaper, Patreon, subscribe, start support this channel. Check out the sponsor links in the description. They change every month or so, so there might be a new sponsor if you haven't seen my, my whoever they are. Maybe it's fucking you know. I, it's not Al Qaeda. I wouldn't allow. Al Actually, though, if Al Qaeda said they'd sponsor me and gave me all their money, that's the American thing to do: is take all of Al Qaeda's money and tell them to go fuck themselves, right? I think we agree on that, right? How do I get on a different Al Qaeda? Oh shit! Probably saying that puts it in the con in the captions, and it's just gonna be a fucking. It's gonna be a shit show. It's gonna be like your videos demonetized for some reason. Anyway, wallpapers in the horde. Link to these. Hopefully, they have a price. If you're a patron. If I find out the price before they release, I'll let you know, because everyone there knows. And yes, and yippee ki yay, motherfucker. Good, good, good. I can't believe they called it awful. I can't believe they called it awful. I can't. I can't believe they called it awful. Yeah. They're so pretty though.